Kahlai, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Double honors to the apostles, the elders, GMS, and Ruel. Brock down all your eye. This out there is pushing this truth. Now, sincerity and strength, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. This is GMS, Arkansas. Appreciate your care. GMS, stop and listen. Just a short lesson, you know. Uh, just trying to further the truth, man. You know, <clears throat> the things we deal with on a daily basis, the truth is, you know, it, it covers all things that we deal with. And um, <clears throat> I just want to go into a few scriptures. Uh, this is Sirach 1 and 5. And it says, The word of God, the Most High, Yahweh, is the foundation of wisdom, and her ways are everlasting commandments. And right here, wisdom is described as being Yahweh's woman, right? Just like we are, the nation of Israel is described as being like Yahweh Shai's. Uh, bride, <clears throat> you know the word wisdom is like you look that word up. It goes into like uh, knowledge, learning, and experience. You know, and that's how you get wisdom. You have to have experience in doing different things. For an example, if a guy has wisdom at working on cars, he's probably has taken out many many uh, car motors and parts and took the car apart and put it back together. He probably has a lot of cuts and bumps on his knuckles, man, from where he's hit hit his hand with wrenches. He has that wisdom of knowing how to work on a car and he could teach one who doesn't. That's why we have our elders. They have this wisdom and knowledge in these scriptures they've been doing for so long and they teach the men under them, right? And it says, um, it says, the word of God most high how is the foundation of wisdom. The foundation, foundation is like the basis, a foundation is like the, uh, basis of groundwork when something's being laid like even in a house what, what what keeps the structure of the house up is the foundation the concrete that they laid under it that's what keeps it up you know it supports supports the structure that's what the structure rests on so if you don't have a foundation a, a rooted foundation in these scriptures man you're not going to stand you're not going to last man so you have to always for one you have to fear the lord and you have to uh send up prayers man that the lord keep you in it because we have a lot of guys, they see something by the wayside, right? They go by the word, they don't even hear the word. You have guys that come up, fell on stony ground. You know, they come in the word, they left the world, but they were hard-headed in this truth and didn't follow what they were taught, and now they back out, you know? So that, that foundation they have wasn't when, when, um, rooted, man. It wasn't solid foundation, you know? Probably had a lot of extra water mixed in the mud when they was mixing the foundation, you know? So skip down to verse eight. It says, there is one, um, one is wise and greatly to be feared. The Lord is sitting upon his throne. The Lord is the one that's greatly to be feared, right? If you don't have that strong foundation, you're not, you're not gonna even fear the Lord, man. You know, cause the fear of the Lord, man, it's, it's, hey, it's, it's doing what you're supposed to do according to these scriptures, man. And if you go in other doctrines or have fell out of the truth, then you didn't fear the Lord. And, and your day of record is coming, man. So prepare for it. I'll um, jump down to verse 11. The fear of the Lord is honor and glory and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. So the fear of the Lord is having dignity uh, and later getting fame, uh, triumph, beauty, splendor, um, victory over our enemies, excellency. That's 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 the that's the glory, man. That's that's what we're looking for. That's that crown of rejoicing. Cause right now we don't have that, man, in this kingdom. Under the so-called white man here in America, we don't have that. So this is what we're looking for. Verse twelve. The fear of the Lord maketh a merry heart and give a joy and gladness and long life. It's a pleasing and pleasant life that it gives you when you come into these scriptures. That's that that's the main thing, man. That merry heart, man. Knowing one day we're gonna be on top of our we're gonna triumph and be on top of our enemies, man. You know. Not like these two thirds out here, they don't even have like a way to go, man. Especially like um these scoffers, man. I'm gonna read a couple of scriptures on them too. You know. They really have an unpleasant life here. They think they uh actually doing something when they come against the men of the Lord, especially on these comment boards. But they really have an unpleasant life, man. They don't even know it. 
and the end is going to be destruction. Verse uh, 13, it says, Whoso feareth the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shai, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. So you have to cleave unto the Lord, cleave unto his word, and don't depart from it. That's the whole thing, man. Because if you don't depart from it, you're going to increase in the end, meaning what? The day of the destruction, the thermonuclear destruction, the famine, the pestilence, right? The Lord will lift you up, man, in that day, especially nuclear destruction when he come with the chariots, man. That's what it's all about, cleaving until the very end and doing to the end so that you'll be lifted up in the end and be saved from the thermonuclear destruction. That's what it's all about, man. You know, it's not about trying to go against people who are trying to uh, push what's right, you know, just because you have you trying to be have your own self-righteous, that shit going to get you killed, man. You know, um, skip down to verse 19. It says, Wisdom reigneth down, skill and knowledge and understanding. Right? It says, It reigneth down, skill, knowledge, and understanding. It's the power of discernment and, under, and the power of un, un, understanding. Power to discern what's going on around you. Uh, discern what these scriptures is talking about. That you would know what was taking place in any particular time, in a uh, particular time, you know. And, and, and you got to know it because in the end, being able to discern, you're gonna you're gonna know when that chip come not to take the chip. Now you scoffers, you're gonna take the chip, knowing when you see them chariots in the sky, knowing what time it is at that particular time, knowing that the salvation is, is right there. You know, it says, wisdom reigneth down skill and knowledge and understanding and exalt them that honor, that hold fast. It's going to raise up the ones that hold fast to it. Who going to grasp the truth, you know? Who going to grasp it and just keep it and guard it, man? Because these scriptures is our protector. So we are protecting, if you grasp something and keep guarding, you protecting it. So we're protecting our protector, you know. This is our refuge, man, being in these scriptures, man. You know, and the Lord only gave that to the elect, man. You know. Uh, verse 20, the root of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And the branches there are, are long life. Roots are... When you look at roots, they're firm fixtures in the ground, man. They which support like trees, right? So in the in these scriptures, it says the root of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. So that, that fixture, that rooted fixture that's supporting that supporting us is the fear of the Lord, man. And to do his commandments, that's the that's the root. You know? And, and in that you have to uh you have to study hard, man. You have to work hard at this, man. This is not no easy thing to get it, you know, say, okay, I'm gonna get into the scriptures, man. You have to count the cost, man, because it's real, it's, it's not no easy thing, man. Because when you start trying to um get into this, this word, man, you're gonna catch hell, man. Things are gonna happen to you. So you have to be really, really, you really study hard and work hard at it, man. And try to be rooted in it, man. Try to set you a good foundation in your how about shit, how shot. That's the only way, man, you're going to get through this, man. Um, Because them, them, them scoffers who you see on these, especially on the comment boards, hey, these dudes are not rooted. They don't have no foundation. They like some just wild ass jackals out there, man. Not knowing they're going to get destroyed for what they're doing. Because a lot of times we, every now and then, you know, we might go on there, um, you know, if you see them putting up some kind of wrong scripture, you go in there and you correct it because you have people that's coming in and the leg might come in, they see it. But a lot of times we don't even deal with them dudes, man, because a lot of times the doctrine that they're going out there is so off. And if you just get into a back and forth with them all the time, then you're going to be, you know, charged just like just be as worse as them, basically. So a lot of times we don't even get into it with them like that. We just let them go ahead because they're gonna be they're gonna die anyway. Um, this is a uh, Proverbs twenty six and four. 
It says, answer not a fool according to his folly. Least thou also be like unto him. So it says, basically, saying, respond not to a to a silly man, a simpleton, you know. Don't respond to a stupid fellow, man. It says, according to his folly, according to his foolishness. Because a lot of the scoffers, man, they have no clue, man. They have not a clue, no clue at all, man. They 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 believe in um, everything other than Yahweh Shem Yahushai. They believe in they actually believe in um, Satan, man. They believe in the white man because they believe in all them other. When they leave the truth, they go to all them other doctrines, man. And that's what they believe in. So they come with that foolishness. That's foolishness, man. So a lot of times we don't even um, we don't even entertain them, man. We just look at it, we read it, we laugh amongst each other. And then if they put up some wrong scriptures, uh, beating the scriptures up, uh, you know, we're going to correct that, man. You know, verse 5, it says, Answer a fool, answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own own conceit. Because a lot of times they'll think they, hey, they think they'll think they right. They'll think they got some knowledge, man. You know, if we if you go back and forth on some foolish, foolishness, but when you correct them right with them scriptures, then they are basically, you know, you can shut them down. That's what you're doing, you convict them. But a lot of times, yeah, you keep going back and forth just without um, having your foundation with that scripture. They'll think they, they got some kind of knowledge, man, and they'll keep on going and keep on going, you know. This is, uh, I'm gonna jump down to verse 10. It says, the great power, Yahweh, that form all things, both Reward the fool and reward the transgressor. So your reward is coming according to your works. For you people out there on them comic boards scoffing, man. That, that, that go by the uh, camps and stuff and, and talk shit about the man of the Lord that's pushing the truth. To have those, those thoughts when you walk by. You might not say nothing, but you got those evil thoughts in your mind. You how about Shem Yahweh Shai know what you're thinking too. So you're going to be rewarded for that in that day. Your reward is coming. Recompense is coming to you. You know, just wait for it. You know, though it's tarry now, it ain't going to tarry. Your day of destruction is coming also. And I'm going to read one more. And I'm going to be out. It says, as a dog returned to his vomit, so a fool returned to his folly. So all the stuff that you learn, that you took in, the philosophies that we took in before we come to the truth, basically saying what we what we ate before we when we come in the truth we vomit all that up all those other philosophies and that wrong teaching or wrong doctor we vomit all that up we come into the truth yeah, how about shimmy i said say okay or uh, repent you know i come for you sinners repent and we vomit that vomit it up right but you return right back to the vomit and start eating it you went right back into the other philosophies man and that's what it says. So a fool returned to his father. You return to that foolishness, man. And you start eating that same foolishness again. The same philosophers, man. All you scoffers out there, man. Y'all return to the same thing, especially the ones who were in the truth and left. Right? You like the biggest scoffers, man. You return to the same old foolishness, man. Time and time and time and time over and over again. And like the Lord say, man, you're going to have your punishment in that day, man. Because you were not rooted, right? It wasn't, you know, you were not rooted in the foundation of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. And with that, man, all praise be Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Double honors to our elders, apostles of GMS. You know, and Barakat Tabin, all you Akim that's out there pushing this truth and all sincerity and strength, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, death to America, death to you scoffers, death to you two thirds. Appreciate you, GMS Arkansas, Shah.